Hey guys. Oh, I miss you too, Sid. Hey, Tim. Hey, Thomas. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying MP Online. I am too. It's been super cool to watch everyone interact. Okay, we're going to give everyone a few minutes to log on. Hi, Ryan. Um, so we'll just hang out here and chat for a little bit. Can you guys hear me okay? <laughs> Tim. <laughs> My Beth. I've missed all your antics, Tim. Okay, Thomas is asking, how long will MP Online exist? Thomas, that's a great question. Um, we're not sure how long this version of MP Online will last um, because we aren't sure yet when we're going to go back to MP. We hope it's really soon. We miss everyone so much. Um, but we're all just going to continue to be patient until we know when we're allowed to go back. Um, but there is possibility for MP Online to grow. So we might get to do a little bit of both and in the future. Okay, got more people hopping on. Louisa is here, Richie, Jared, hello, Mr. Bizel. Let's see. Okay, Brian chatting. Okay, guys, this is exciting. I'm so excited to chat with everyone. I miss you guys all so much. Hi, Shelby. Tim, you've lost 42 pounds. I've lost like 0.8 pounds. <laughs> Hi, Lyndon. Way to go, Tim. Let's see if I can send you a heart. Way to go. Hi, Jeffrey. Good afternoon. Dory, no, this is not the meeting with Michael Thomas. This is um, a lesson about social media. Hey, Patrick. Ryan, we'll wait a couple more minutes, see if Audrey hops on. Hello, Sazoy clan. Hipsters, do you guys know that Jamie had her baby? I've seen pictures, he's super cute. Got some big cheeks. Tim, you miss hanging out with everyone? I miss hanging out with everyone too. Okay, this is this is cool, you guys. Let me take a where is Michael's meeting? Uh, Michael's meeting is uh, through Teams, Dory. It's not on Facebook. And I believe it's at two o'clock. Guys, are you okay if I um, take some pics for my personal social media? Are you guys okay with that? Hey, Tito. Oh, guys, Ryan is sharing that Audrey moved to planet today, so she might not hop up today, and that's okay. 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 All right, we've got a few more joining. Okay, okay, and you guys are seeing your cool if I take a couple pictures. Okay, cool. Cool, this is my first time teaching a digital class of any kind. I'm like my third time attempting to teach something out in peace, so that's kind of fun. Did you guys know that I have, I substituted two classes before at MP? 
it was interesting. <laughs> I think there's a reason I'm not a teacher, you guys. Um, we did like a health class one time and we talked about the importance of dental care. That was interesting. I told everybody to stop drinking soda, which I hope, um, well, I know, not I hope, I know Mr. Jesse and Miss Olivia tell you guys. Oh, hi, Katie C. Um, they tell you guys not, hi, Allison, not to drink soda as well because it's really bad for our teeth. Um, and then I also did a girl power class. That one was fun. That was fun. Um, okay. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm like, I'm not, I don't mean to touch my face so much, but my allergies are, I'm very itchy from all my allergies. So I apologize in advance, but I have hand sanitizer here with me. Um, actually, I have another case, but okay. All right, it's been a few minutes, so why don't we go ahead and get started? So like I said, guys, today uh, we're talking about social media behaviors and etiquette. Um, we'll go over some hip hips and some things I think we can all work on a little bit. Um, but I do want to say, um, for that hip hip, you guys are rocking MP online. So thank you all for all of your participation and um, just all of the interaction you're doing with MP online and the classes and the activities you're doing at home. You guys are really doing an awesome job. So thank you for that. Um, okay. I really try to be kind of a teacher and I make these cool things. <laughs> um, so first we're gonna talk about etiquette. Uh, Miss Kelly already posted some tips on it, so we will reference her video a little bit. Um, she did a phenomenal job covering cybersecurity and etiquette. Um, so we're just gonna touch on that a little bit and then we'll move on to the next topic. Um, so when Miss Kelly was talking about etiquette, she talked a lot about you know, we don't want to just like, oh, fire off at someone, you know, if they've upset us or maybe if they've made um, an inappropriate comment, the best thing to do is to ignore them or maybe remove them from friends if they're not really your friend. Um, but, you know, we don't want to put a bunch of negative energy out on social media because once something's on the internet, it's there forever. Um, I was chatting with one of my roommates. And she gave me a great analogy, and I told her I was going to share it with all of you. So when you, and it's about like words are hurtful, right? Because we've all had our feelings hurt before by some hurtful words. So just because you're behind a keyboard on a cell phone or a keyboard on a laptop or a computer, um, that doesn't mean it's okay to say or type hurtful things um, because it really upset our friends, families, or people we don't even know. And we always want to have a positive outlook. So, if you think about it like this, oh, and I totally should have grabbed my toothpaste and I didn't. Um, when you squeeze toothpaste out of the toothpaste container, you can't really put it back in, right? So maybe you've put too much on your toothbrush all over the sink. Um, that toothpaste is just there now. You can't put it back in the tube. So words are the same. Um, and when you type a message, it's the same. Once it's out there it's out there and we can't really take it back sure we can apologize and we can learn from it but it's best to think about what we're saying um before we say it do you guys agree with that tim says beth time <laughs> it is time. okay what's miss Brittany saying oh uh, Brittany says they use this energy in the academy curriculum awesome man <laughs> let's see Okay, cool. Um, so we'll just put an analogy in our heads and our hearts. Um, be full of that, right? We don't want our words to be like toothpaste where we squeeze too much and we can't take it all back. I um, just want to be mindful about what we're putting um, out on social media and on the internet. Um, Tim, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get House Party app, but thank you for thinking of me. Okay. So the next thing, actions, ah! actions. So very similar to etiquette are actions. Um, oh, hold on just a second, somebody's, somebody's calling me. Hello? Hello? Okay, they hung up. It's ringing again. 
Okay, they just can't. What is? Okay, isn't that that's kind of that's kind of annoying, right? Maybe that's a little bit rude that my feet's going off. So we want to be mindful of our actions, mindful, um, and just so you guys know, my phone wasn't actually ringing. It was just a joke. Um, but that would be kind of rude, right? If I was in the middle of teaching a class or in a conversation with someone and I just kept answering the phone. Um, so we want to be mindful of those actions. Um, and it's also maybe, how many of you guys have siblings? And sometimes, hi, Lyndon. Um, and sometimes it's kind of fun when we annoy our siblings a little bit or maybe we poke them relentlessly, right? Um, but some annoying actions, maybe those are only reserved for our families and not necessarily um, right for everyday use. Thomas, you have a twin brother? I didn't know that. Do you guys get on each other sometimes? Jeffrey has two sisters. Wow. Well, the siblings, we all get on each other's nerves or their own. Um, so instead of like a ring phone, like maybe we poke our siblings constantly or they poke us and you're just kind of like, oh, that's a little much. Um, so I want to use that to reference something that I um, noticed since we've started MP online. Um, but <laughs> I wanted to bring it up. I hope you guys understand. Um, just like it was maybe a little annoying and a little bit inconsiderate that my phone kept ringing while I am teaching this class or maybe I was in a meeting, um, the same happens um, if maybe you guys are constantly calling instructors through Facebook Messenger. So I just want to remind everyone that even though we're online and we're in this space where we can instantly communicate, it doesn't mean we need to instantly communicate. Um, you know? And if somebody doesn't pick up their phone, that's because they can't really talk right then. And that doesn't mean we need to call them 10 times and hope they pick up. Does that sound good, guys? Let's see. What's Tito saying? Tito says he likes thinking what to say before hitting send. Yes. Yeah, that's a great point. I'm going to do two, Sid. Do you think we can all work on... Tim, are you doing your Beth impersonation? Why well, you keep saying, I'm Beth. Are you trying to flip your hair right now? <laughs> um... But does that does that make sense, guys? Oh, that was my roommate Marissa. <laughs> I don't know where there. she was there. <laughs> um, be, you know, just be mindful that we are all during it's during the workday for us, and even though we're not in the halls of MP, um, and we are all online, it doesn't mean we get to call constantly. Because just like maybe it's that sibling poking at us, that's kind of what a constantly ringing phone is like. It's like, oh, like, guys, I'm in the middle of a meeting or I'm working on a project. Um, it's not that we don't want to talk, but it's not very considerate to constantly call somebody back to back to back. So I want us to practice a little bit more patience moving forward. Does that sound good? Ryan, that's sweet that you call Audrey in the morning and evening. All right, cool. We'll move on to the next topic, which the calls are a perfect side segue to friend request. You guys like my little people I drew? Let's see. Oh, sorry, the comments are a little delayed, so I'm going to go back. Jeffrey is asking, does it mean to put repetition of words in Facebook in someone with inappropriate behavior? Okay, so Jeffrey, what I think you're saying is to halt, to halt on rep repetition words. Right, so, and we don't want appropriate behavior on social media. Um, even if we're frustrated, we, we want to collect ourselves before we send a message that could hurt someone's things or maybe find different words to use. Because uh, just like toothpaste, once you say it, it's out there. 
Um, and yeah, constant repetition. Um, it can, you know, like guys, we're all adults and it, it can be annoying. Um, just be mindful of that. And again, it's not somebody's intentionally ignoring you. They might be really busy and in the middle of something, or maybe they're prepping for something for MP online and they're totally in the zone. So we just want to be respectful of other people's time. Tim, you do for me every day. Okay, cool. Awesome. You guys are all awesome. awesome. Thank you guys for being so understanding. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so back to friend request. That's all of us right there. Um, so we are all on Facebook. We are all on different social media platforms. And we um, we all get to have this instant interaction now. It's kind of even more than if we were on campus, right? Um, but I do encourage you guys to be mindful that not all staff will accept for request, request. Um, and that's OK. I don't want anyone feelings to get hurt over that totally the staff's preference um, whether they want to accept and request or not it doesn't mean they don't like you um, or that they aren't friends with you at MP it it just means that they want to respect their own privacy and keep you know their social media life so I just that you guys ooh, let's pin Jamie that you guys are uh, mindful of that and that, you know, it's okay if somebody doesn't accept your friend request. Um, I'm one of them. I don't accept hip friend request. Um, we do have a policy at my possibilities. So I, I choose all that. Um, and I choose to just keep my life a little bit more private and for, you know, like my family and my close group of friends. So, um, I appreciate you guys respecting my decision, and I hope that you'll respect other people's decisions as well. Um, let's see. Okay, so Jamie asked a really great question. What are the best times to call someone? Jamie, this is a great question. Um, I, my rule of thumb is to typically um, you, you call somebody during at lunchtime, but I always recommend clearing it with them first. So maybe you send an email and ask them, hey, I would really like to chat today. It's a good time. Um, and you can get that clearance from them. If they say, you know, I have a break at noon today, it would be a great time to break. Then you can call them then or maybe they'll call you. Um, another time is maybe after the work day. So anywhere between 4 and 6 p.m. It's typically um, when the work day is over, depending on who you're trying to contact. A lot of people's uh, schedules vary. So that's another thing to be mindful of. Is not every schedule is the same. Um, so yeah, but I always like to ask someone ahead of time. Hey, um, I've been really thinking about something. When would be a good time to catch up today? You know, and if they they aren't able to answer you that day, they'll get back to you the next day. Okay, so on to let's, the next one. Privacy. So. I mentioned privacy and friend requests. It's my choice to not accept friend requests, and it's my way of protecting my privacy. Um, Olivia commented something I'm going to pin. Okay. Um, so just some notes on privacy. Just as potentially staff want to protect their privacy, we want you to protect your privacy too. So. Kelly touched on, you know, don't add a bunch of random people on so your social media platforms, especially people that you don't know. Um, Olivia said something that she gets a bunch of random friends. Um, and you always say, fantastic, good job. If you don't accept them, um, I don't, whether it's on House Party, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the platform is, if you don't know them and you haven't personally met them, it's not a good idea to accept them. Um, so rule of thumb, I like to keep your account settings to only friends. So that means the people that you have vetted to um, be your friend and you've met them, that they are the people who can see your activity on Facebook. Tim, will you stop flirting? Oh my goodness. I appreciate the compliment, but let's focus. I need you to do the lesson. 
Um, so yeah, so we just always want to keep ourselves and the people that we care about safe. Does that sound good, guys? We want to practice privacy. Let's see. Jeffrey saying not to text too much. Practice self-control, but it can be hard. It can be hard at times. Um, my friends know I am one of those texters, guys, that I try really hard to get all my thoughts to listen, and sometimes it's just lots lots of messages that are really bad, and I'm like, oh, I could buy whatever couple more seconds to collect my thoughts. I probably could have sent you one message instead of five. So I will work on you guys. Okay. All right. The next thing. Patience. So you guys have done a really great job at adapting and adjusting to what we're all doing right now and what is our new normal, um, which is MP online. So big kudos to you guys. I'm so impressed and so happy. Um, you guys are rocking all of the interaction. You're doing all the activities. Um, but I just want to remind everyone that just like we practice patients at MP, you know, whether the class we're working on or a, a CBI that we want to go on, we also need to practice patients online. Um, so I just want to let you guys know a couple of things that I've noticed because I am watching. Um, I've noticed a lot of if somebody's not on right at like 1 o'clock was my time slot today. Um, if they aren't on at 102, there are all of these pending messages. Where is so-and-so? Where's the lesson, lesson on this? Where's the lesson on um, So. That's a great point. Patience is a virtue. Um, so let's just all be patient. You know, what if today my Wi-Fi had trouble and I had trouble connecting? Um, there are all kinds of technical difficulties and glitches we can run into We're in this digital space. So just be mindful of that. Um, it's not that they are purposely late. Um, it's that maybe something happened or maybe they're pre and they weren't able to get out of it. So just, um, you, you know, don't be so um, eager, you know, to, to know where it is and, oh, my gosh, it's not happening and, oh, no, they forgot. Um, let's just all take a breath and remember that, um, you know, we need to be patient with one another, especially right now. We all need a little bit of a little bit of, of grace. Um, and, you know, maybe somebody's clock is off. <laughs> Yours is fast and theirs is slow, or vice versa. Um, so just be mindful that uh, we all have a lot going on in our lives right now, and it doesn't mean that we don't want to be with each other. It just means that something else might be happening, and just hang tight for a couple more minutes, okay? For the most part, you guys have been super patient, um, but I just want to encourage you guys to continue to be patient. Let's see. Okay, and last but not least, Positivity. Um, I've mentioned it quite a bit this time. You guys are rocking all the engagement with MP Online. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to Patrick H. Um, many, many months ago, he created his own acronym and he uses it on every single My Possibilities social media post. So thank you, Patrick. Um, if you guys are wondering, his acronym is Keep My Possibilities Great. I think we're a great place. Um, I know that we're a great place, so we want to keep all of our stuff great. Um, and we will because you guys are amazing. So easy done. Um, but I think it's cool that Patrick interacts so much on the main Facebook page and comments posts and shares his excitement. A lot of our hipsters do that. You guys are fantastic. So just keep that up. Um, but I also I do want to encourage that when you're on your own social media platforms, um, you know, this kind of goes back to what we first started talking about, to be mindful about what we're putting out on social media. So look at positive, right? So if you want to share some pictures, maybe you go on a walk today and you want to share pictures of this walk um, and just say, hey, these are some things that make me happy. I really enjoy going for walks with my family. Um, I found these really pretty flowers today. Or maybe you want to take time to reflect on a fun memory. You can do that too. Social media is a place for sharing. 
but we want to keep it positive, um, and especially right now, um, because you never know, your, your positive posts could really brighten somebody's day. Okay, um, looking at my notes, sorry guys, new, new teacher. <laughs> Ryan says, I love this online stuff. Me too, Ryan, I think it's cool. Jeffrey, having boundaries is also important. We cannot be social network too much and cause drama. Amen. Eric says I look like JoJo. Like JoJo Siwa? Do you really think that? I do have some big bows in my closet somewhere. Maybe I should wear them. Olivia, sometimes you don't get classes. Yeah, that can be frustrating, but that's okay. I mean, because I might get it the next semester. And Tim's saying sometimes there are bullies. Yeah, there are. that's why we need to be the positive. Um, we need to showcase positivity, right? We need to be a bigger person. We need to be the leader um, because our actions and our behaviors um, notice them, and they'll know. Um, they'll they'll take note and they'll say, you know what? Um, they'll say. She was super positive today. I want to be a little bit more like Miss Jamie. So just keep that in mind. I don't know who the other JoJo is. I'm sorry. Katie. Okay. You guys know who the other JoJo is? I don't know. I don't. I only know the one JoJo. Let's see. Okay. Are some fun things that you guys? Him, let's not tattle. <laughs> what are some fun things that you guys like to share on social media? Yeah, Ryan, we have um, some great leadership classes in P. That could be something you want to share on social media. Like, I really enjoyed taking this class. I'm so glad my possibilities off it. Allison likes to share when she works out with her mom. That's awesome. Thomas says funny selfies. I bet your funny selfies really brighten people up. MP Online is keeping us all busy, Jeffrey. That is right. Oh, I miss you too, Louisa. David H. says, how to be kind to other words. Bye. Jared likes to post sports and food. Sports. Oh, my gosh. Jared, we'll have to talk about the dress and how we hope we have a fall football season. Katie likes to post about Camp Summit. Fantastic. And Reggie likes to post about good online classes. Okay, those are all really great, really great examples. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I, like to, I also like to share when I work out and when I do anything outdoors, when I spend time with my friends and family. Those are all things that make me happy. So I hope they encourage other people to be happy as well. Um, so we're going to kind of move along. I just have a couple of reminders for you guys. And then um, I'm going to hop off here kind of soon and give you guys back some time in your day. Um, so, again, just a couple of reminders. Um, Ryan says you were yeah, with Jesse today. Yeah. Um, okay, a couple of reminders. So Tuesday – which is Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday, and North Texas Giving Tuesday now, which is super fun. It's like a miniature North Texas Giving Day, but it's all online. Um, so over the last two weeks, you guys have seen uh, really cool videos from um, Summer and Rados and Ellie and Jill and some other videos that are, will be surprises for you guys on Tuesday um, and for everyone watching. But 
all of those videos where they've asked to make a recipe or a craft, um, or maybe you belong to a song. Did anyone do that? Um, I really want to see pictures of that in videos because I would like to share that on our main Facebook page because on Cinco de Mayo, we're going to take MP online and the team page so everyone can see what we're doing and see how awesome you guys have adapted to our new way of learning. So families, caregivers, parents, if you guys will please email me photos of your hipsters, um, main Mexican cornbread. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that rest myself. Maybe the enchilada meatballs, the cute sombreros, singing along, learning Spanish, whatever it is. Um, please send me photos and videos. You can email me at bpalmer at mptx.org. I would love to um, show our followers what we're doing. Um, it's a really great way um, to just let everyone know how flexible our hipsters are being. I mean, it's phenomenal. Um, so please do that. It will really make the day even more special, especially since we can't be together in person. Um, this is kind of like a fun substitute. Okay. Um, so also, um, hipsters, be mindful that on Tuesday, May 5th, there will be much more activity on the Facebook page and not so much on the family page. So just be mindful of that. And I really want your comments and your interactions on the main page that day. Um, so it'll be fun, you guys will get to show off all your hard work that you've done. And then, last but not least, I hope you guys are excited for this. I'm really excited, I think you guys kick out of it. Um, but Saturday, May 9th, mark your calendars. I'm doing MP Cribs. <laughs> so you'll get to tour my house and mates. Um, I'm just excited to show you guys around. So I think that's at 11 a.m. on May night. Um, so lots of dates. I will write my comments. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and again, parents and caregivers, please send me those photos or videos. Would love to showcase all the hard work your hips just have done. Okay, um, hang out for like a couple more, couple more minutes, just because I don't want to go. <laughs> Oh, and for, oh, nice. Like. Tito's sharing that he has hobbies. He's awesome, Tito. Digital art. I've seen some. You see, I do not have children. Sorry to disappoint. There is there is no baby name. Thomas says this online stuff and some of public television. You're saying I could be on TV, Thomas. I might I might have to find a way to do that. Okay, guys, well, if you don't want to go, I too, I do have another meeting. Hi, Ellie. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed I had a great time hanging out with everyone today. Um, I hope you liked my lesson. I hope we'll all practice um, just some behaviors, be mindful of other people's time and what they have going on throughout their days. Uh, but continue being great. You guys are just phenomenal online. So keep it up. I appreciate everything you're doing and how flexible you're being. And I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Friday and has a beautiful weekend. I'll see you guys online sometime soon. Bye.